Hello friends, today's video is about resetting Windows local user account password in Windows 10 if you have forgotten it, okay? Uh, it's not quite hard to remember the password for your local user account, right? But imagine a situation, you have recently changed your password and you have not logged in to your system for two or three or more days and suddenly you came back and uh, try to log into your system and realize that hey i have changed my password but i can't seem to remember it it's a total disaster situation so in this video we will see how to reset that forgotten password without knowing the previous one okay This method works for Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. I will demonstrate the method on my Windows 10 operating system. Okay. So the things you need in order to reset your password are either an installation CD or DVD of Windows setup installed on your system or you can use a bootable USB pen drive. Okay. Now, remember guys, if you don't have the installation CD or DVD, you can easily download the ISO image of the same operating system from Microsoft website. Write it on the disk and uh, make it a bootable, use it. Now, if you want to use a bootable USB pen drive, then make sure you use 8 GB USB. Make it a bootable. If you want to learn how to make a USB bootable, you can watch this videos. I have put video URLs in the description right below this video. Here in this video, I am going to show you the process using USB and the whole process is same with the CD or the DVD also. Once your bootable USB is ready, plug it into the system. If you are going to use an installation CD or DVD, then insert it into the CD or DVD ROM. Well, we are going to use the USB, so I am just inserting USB pen drive. Now, start your system and as soon as you start your system, press the escape button to go to the boot menu now the key to get to the boot menu differs manufacturer to manufacturer okay these are some of the common keys used to get to the boot menu they are f2 or f8 or f10 or f12 or escape in my case it's escape if you don't know what key is used to get to the boot menu for your system or laptop you can easily find out what is the boot menu option key just start your system once and observe the instructions on your screen these instructions may be there for some couple of seconds so look at them very carefully let me show you in slow motion the instructions appear on my system when i start my system okay there you go Escape is the option, key option to get to the boot menu for my system, right? Once you know the key, press it as soon as your system starts. After pressing the key, it will show you the list of available bootable devices. And as we are going to use USB, we are going to select removable devices. If you are using installation CD or DVD, then use CD, DVD, ROM drives from the boot menu option, okay? As soon as you select the option, it will try to find the bootable device as per your choice. In our case, it's bootable USB. Okay. Now, uh, it will come up with this screen and uh, click on next. Here, click on repair your computer from the bottom left corner. Here, select troubleshoot, then advanced option and then command prompt. Okay. If you have reached till here, means that you have successfully done half of the work. Now, let me show you what are we basically going to do here, okay? Remember the utility manager icon comes up on the logon screen. In Windows 10, it appears on the bottom right corner and in Windows 8 or 8.1, it appears on bottom left corner. So, we are going to replace this utility manager with the command prompt and use the command prompt to reset the password, okay? So, if you are pretty clear about what you are going to do, then let's move ahead. Now that we have the access to the command prompt, we need to identify which drive contains the operating system on your computer. Usually it's C drive, but just to confirm, type disk part and hit enter. 
this is just to prevent the conflict in case a uh, user has installed the operating system on some other drive okay now once the disk part utility is launched type list space volume and hit enter so it will show you the list of all available disk partitions on your system okay it will give you a lot more information about your whole system like volume the drive letter associated with each partition drive label the drive types the space allocated to each partitions now here you can easily identify the operating system drive for your system from the space allocated to it right so generally c drive is the uh, partition which contains operating system but here you can see it has the 500 mb of space allocated to it which is not enough to hold any operating system so c is not the partition we are looking for right i remember the partition which holds the operating system for my computer is of 35 gb this is around 35 gb and it is associated with d drive so d drive is the operating system drive for my system okay once you identify the operating system partition then exit from disk partition by typing this command exit and hit enter clear the screen by typing cls and hit enter type d colon and hit enter to change the default path as we have just identified that d is the operating system drive for my computer navigate to system32 folder by typing cd space windows backslash system32 and hit enter i have already told you that we are going to use utility manager tool to change the password right so this utility manager tool resides in system32 folder so first we will make a backup copy of this utility manager tool and in order to do that type the symbol command copy space utilman.exe space utilman.exe1 and hit enter this will create a backup copy of utility manager but with a different name utilman.exe1 okay now to replace the utility manager tool with command prompt type this command copy space cmd.exe which is command prompt space utilman.exe which is utility manager tool okay it will ask you to overwrite utilman.exe giving you the options yes or no press y and hit enter this command has replaced utility manager with command prompt which means if you launch utility manager when windows starts command prompt will be launched okay now here guys remember to revert these changes once we successfully change the password don't worry i will show you how to do that once we change the password successfully reboot your computer by typing this simple command wpe util space reboot and hit enter remember to unplug the usb because now we are going to boot from the system in order to get to the windows login screen okay now let the system boot normally from your internal hard disk okay when you get this windows login screen click on this icon utility manager on the bottom right corner i have already told you that in windows 8 or 8.1 utility manager is seen on the bottom left corner of the site as we have replaced utility manager with cmd.exe command prompt will be launched okay here type the command net space user and hit enter okay it will show you the list of user accounts on your system currently i have forgotten the password for this user account named k-e-y-r-u-n type this command net space user space the name of the user account that's k-e-y-r-u-n space the password whatever the password you want to set for your user account just type it so i simply want it to be the same as my user account okay so i'll write it down k-e-y-r-u-n hit enter okay if command prompt show you a success message the command completed successfully close the command prompt select your user account and enter the new password hit enter you will be able to log in to your user account bingo now that's a relief isn't it so all the pain and suffer you are going through has now ended but not yet 
because we have to revert the changes we made through the bootable USB. So restoring the utility manager, uh, again, insert a bootable USB or CD, DVD, whatever you are using, restart the system. Once again, go to the command prompt by selecting the appropriate options. I have already told you how to go to the command prompt in Windows 10 and Windows 8 or 8.1 okay redirect the operating system drive by typing c colon or whatever the drive whatever the operating system drive you have on your system on my system it's d drive so i'm going to write d colon and hit enter again redirect to system32 folder by typing cd space windows backslash system32 and hit enter now to restore the utility manager type this command move utilman.exe1 which is our backup copy of utility manager space utilman.exe okay so this will again ask you if you want to overwrite utilman.exe okay giving you options yes no or all just type y and hit enter Restart the system by typing following command WPE util space reboot and hit enter. Remove the USB as our work is done with it and let the system boot normally. There you go. Type your new password and enjoy. I hope you like this video. Keep sharing the video, provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to press the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook on following usernames. Thank you guys, have a nice day.